Good morning, students. Let us start with our new chapter, chapter number thirteen, exponents and power. Now, let me explain what is exponents and power. Now, see, two is to four. Now, see this two. This is called base. And this four, this is called exponent. This means two is to be multiplied four times. Two into two into two into two. Now, why we use exponential form? Exponential form are used to read and write very large numbers. Understood? Now, how we will read this? We will read this as two raised to the power four. Now, another example: three raised to the power three. Now, see here. This means three is to be multiplied three times. Three into three into three. See, three threes are nine. Nine threes are twenty-seven. For example, two raised to zero. That means the value of two raised to zero is one. Understood? How to write a number in exponential form? Now see, a number is given here, three hundred forty-three. Now how to write this in exponential form? So first, what you will do? You will prime factorize this number, three hundred forty-three seven. Forty-nine sevens are three hundred forty-three. Again, seven sevens are. Again, seven ones are. Now see how many times seven? Three times. So seven into seven into seven. That means seven raised to the power. Three, understood? This way we will find out a number to write in exponential form. Understood? Next is laws of exponents. First, a raised to the power m multiplied by a raised to the power n. Now see, the base are same, so we can write this as a m plus N. Now let me explain this with the help of an example. Two raised to the power three multiplied by two raised to the power two. Now see the base is two. That means here two three times and here two two times. So two into two into two into two into two. Now see. How many times two? Two five times. So we can write this as two raised to the power three plus two is equal to two raised to the power five. Understood? Next, a raised to the power m divided by a raised to the power n. Now here it is divided. So a raised to the power m minus n divided will change into Minus subtraction. See here. For example, two raised to the power five divided by two raised to the power three. Here, two raised to the power five. That means two five times. One, two, three, four, five. Divide by two raised to the power three times. That means two. Into two into two. Cut. Now how many times two? Two times. So we can say two raised to the power five minus three is equal to two raised to the power two. Understood? Next is 
power of a power. Now see here, a raised to the power m raised to the power n. For example, see, 2 raised to 3 raised to 2. That means 2 raised to 3, 2 times you have to multiply. Then what you will do? We will multiply this. Is equal to 2 raised to 3 raised to 2. That is 2 raised to 3 to the 6. That means 2 is to be multiplied 6 times. Understood? So here it will come A raised to M multiplied by F. Is it clear? Now next, see here base different and exponent same. So what we will do here? A into B. That means AB is to the power M. For example, 2 raised to 3 into 3 raised to 3. Now see, base different, exponent same. So what you will do here? 2 into 3 raised to 3. Understood? Dividing the powers with the same exponent. Now see, a raised to the power 3 divided by b raised to the power 3. That means a into a into a divided by b into b into b. That means a 3 times b 3 times. That means a divided by b is to 3. Understood? For example, 2 raised to 3 divided by 3 raised to 3. That means 2 to be multiplied 3 times and 3 to be multiplied 3 times is equal to 2 divided by 3 is 3 times. Understood? Next is standard form. What is standard form? Standard form is the short way to write a large number. Now see, this is 5 length. Now how you will write this in a short form? Now see, 5 length. See here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 into One leg. See how many count the zeros here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means 5 into 10 raised to the power 5. This is the standard form of how to write 5 leg. Our next example is 5985. How you will write this in standard form? So what we will do, we will put a decimal point after 5, 5.985 into 1000, understood? Now how we will write, is equal to 5.985 into, from the zeros, 1, 2, 3, 10 raised to 3. This is the standard form of how to write 5985. Understood? Exercise 13.1, question number 1. Find the value of. Our first question is 2 raised to the power 6. That means 2 is to be multiplied 6 times. Is equal to 2 into 2 into 2, into 2, into 2, into 2, 6 times. Okay, now we have to find the value. So you will multiply and you will write the answer. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 16 to the 32, 32 to the 64. Next, 
9 raised to the power 3. That means 9 is to be multiplied 3 times. 9 into 9 into 9. So, 9 nines are 81. 81 into 9. 1 nines are 9. 8 nines are 72. Our answer is 729. Now, 3 and 4. This is your homework. Question number 2. Express the following in exponential form. Now see, 6 into 6 into 6 into 6. That means 6 raised to the power 4. 6 multiplied 4 times. Next, t into t. How many times t multiplied? 2. That means t raised to the power 2. b into b into b into b. That is b multiplied 4 times. Now see, 5 into 5 into 7 into 7 into 7. That means 5 multiplied by 2. 5 multiplied 2 times and 7 multiplied 3 times. Next, 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by a into a. That means 2 multiplied 2 times and a multiplied 2 times. Next, a into a into a into c into c into c into c into d. A multiplied 3 times into c 4 times into d 1 time. Understood? Question number 3. Express each of the following numbers using exponential notation. Now the number is 512. Now what you will do? You will try and factorize this number. Now see. 2 are. 2 twos are 4. 5 two fives are 10. 2 six are 12. 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, 2 eights are 16. Again 2. 6 twos are 12, 6 fours are 64. 2, 30, 2. 2, 16, 2, 8 are. Two fours are two twos are and last is two ones are. Now see how many times two five hundred twelve is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So two into two into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 2 raised to the power 9 512 is equal to 2 raised to the power 9 this is the exponential form of 512. Now, B, C and D. This is your, home, your homework. Do this just like this way. You will get the answer. Question number 4. Identify the greater number wherever possible in each of the following. Our first question is 4 raised to the power 3 or 3 raised to the power 4. 4 raised to the power 3 means 4 is to be multiplied 3 times. That is 4 into 4 into 4. 4 fours are 16. 16 fours are 64. Now 3 raised to the power 4. That means 3 is to be multiplied 4 times.
3 3 is a 9. 9 3 is a 27. 27 3 is a 81. Now see which is greater. 64 or 81. 81 is greater. So which one is greater? 3 raised to 4 is greater. Understood? Now next. 100 raised to the power 2 or 2 raised to the power 100. Now see 100 raised to the power 2 means 100 is to be multiplied 2 times. That is 10,000. Now 2 raised to the power 100. Now see here. That means we have to multiply 200 times. Now what we will do? We will multiply first 2 10 times. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Okay, first let us multiply 2 10 times. 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 16 2s are 32, 32 2s are 64. 2 2s are 4, 2s are 8, 2s are 16, 64 into 16. Let us multiply here. Now see 1024. This is 2 raised to the power 10. Now 100. 100 means 10 into 10. That means we will multiply 1024 10 times. 2, 4 raised to the power 10. That means 10 times we will multiply 1024. Obviously, which is greater? This is for our here. If this is 10,000 and here it is when we multiply it will be a large sum. So this one is greater. So 4 is to the power 10. Therefore 100 is to 2 and 2 is to 100. Understood? This is your homework. Question number 5. Express each of the following as a product of powers of the prime factors. First is 648. First we will prime factorize this. 648. 2's are, 2 3's are 6, 2 2's are 4, 4 2's are, okay, again 2, 2's are, eight, 81, okay, now 3's are, ones are. Now see. 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3. 2, 3 times and 3, 4 times. So how we will write? 648 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Is equal to 2 raised to the power 3 into 3 raised to the power 4. Therefore, 648 is equal to 2 raised to the power 3 into 3 raised to the power 4. This way, you will.
ready to start. This is your homework. Question number six, simplify. 2 multiply by 10 raised to the power 3. How you will do? 2 into, now 10 is to be multiplied 3 times. 10 into 10 into 10 is equal to, to 10 into 10, 100, 100 into 10, 1000. So 2 into 1000 is equal to 2000. Understood? Now 7 raised to the power 2 into 2 raised to the power 2 is equal to 7 raised to the power 2 means 7 to be multiplied 2 times into 2 into 2. 7 7s are 49 into 2 2s are 4. 10 4s are 36. 3 4 4s are 16. 16 plus 3 19. So the answer is 196. 0 multiply by 10 into 10 is equal to 0 into 10 into 10, 100. 0 multiply by 100 is 0. Understood? This is your homework. Question number 7. Simplify. First is minus 4 raised to the power 3. That means minus 4 3 times you have to multiply. Minus 4 into minus 4 into minus 4. Now see the sign also. Minus minus plus 4 4s are 16. 16 into minus 4. 16 4s are uh, 64. And plus minus minus. So our answer is minus 64. Now here. Minus 3 into minus 2 3 times. Minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2. Is equal to minus 3 into. 2 2s are 4. 4 2s are 8. Minus minus plus plus minus minus. That is minus 8. Now, 3 into 8. 24. And minus minus plus. So our answer is plus 24. Understood? This is your homework. Question number 8. Compare the following numbers. First is 2.7 into 10 raised to the power 12. 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 8. Now here we have to compare which number is greater. Now see here. 2.7 into 10 raised to the power 12. That means first we have to 2.7 multiply with 10. 12 times, that means 10 into 10 into 10 into 12 times, you have to multiply and then you will multiply 2.7 with that number. Here also 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 8, that means first you will multiply 10 8 times, then you will multiply with 1.5. Now, we have to compare which number is greater. Now see, here the base is 6, but the exponent. Here the power is 12 and here the power is 8. So which is greater? 12. That means this number is greater. So you will write 2.7 into 10 raised to the 2 power 12 is greater than 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 8. Understood? Same way here also. 4 into 10 raised to the power 14. 3 into 10 raised to the power 17. Now see here base is same. But the exponent. Here it is 14. And here it is 17. And which is greater? This one will be greater. 4. Point. 
4 into 10 raised to the power 14. 3 into 10 raised to the power 17. Understood? We will continue further in our next class.